Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel at Sardi's Finances. Happy Sunday, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend so far. I am filming this a bit late today, it's in the, um, the afternoon and this morning I was busy with like, I had a lay-in essentially and then I had a skin um, consultation essentially. So you might hear some background noises, I do apologise and there also is a helicopter going around in my area, don't know why, so you might also hear that, so apologies. But I needed to film this, otherwise you wouldn't be getting this video then. So we're going to be stuffing some money into saving challenges today only. So I'm not stuffing sinking funds because sometimes I used to also sink, not sink, um, stuff my um, sinking funds as well, especially the holiday one. But the holiday one is now a bit of a back burner because the holiday I was planning to do in October or November is no longer happening. So that's fine, it's not end of the world, so that means I can spend a bit more time saving for holiday and fingers crossed next year I get to go on holiday. It's not end of the world, I do usually do like small away trips to London here and there, so it's fine. <laughs> and also my back feet is also flashing red, I mean how annoying is that? But I'm going to ignore it because I think it should give me like 15-20 minutes or about 30 minutes roughly of time. But I have around £130 to stuff today. Now this is pretty much all from side hustles. I might have to do like another like bonus cash stuffing video for like leftover money for my budget. I don't know whether there will be anything left but yeah. I was meant to have like a monthly check in but I forgot to do that and um, I don't think I'm going to do it now because I've been bad. I've been bad with my credit card I think um, for um, October. I need to cut my um, credit cards and put them away essentially not cut them but I'll just put them away and so I don't use them because I'm just overspending on the credit card and that isn't really really good for me at all and yeah it's not good and also I've been buying quite a few things on like eBay like secondhand but new stuff it, like I bought this intelligent change affirmation card I don't really be in affirmations or anything like that but I like the quotes on there and it's just something to motivate you essentially motivate you and the cards were, I think, around £25 to £30 pounds on Amazon and the Intelligent Chain website as well. But I managed to get it for around, I think, under £10. Pounds. I don't mean I was including delivery. I think it was £8 pounds for the card and that couple of quid for the delivery. And I also got these um, pumpkin ramkins from Nex, but they were on eBay. So I usually lower the price. So I got them for £16.50, but it was £5 delivery. So in, in total, it cost £22. Pounds. But last year they were in next for £22. Now I was planning to buy them, but they sold out before I could buy them. And then they went on sale and then they went out of stock. And I did go next this week, but unfortunately they didn't have the same design. And I really like those ones. So luckily I've managed to get them on eBay for about the same price essentially because it's including delivery. And I'm really happy with that because usually I would have bought it brand new. But I'm now going into like eBay and Minted to purchase some things. And I have been selling quite a few things on Vinted as well, which have been doing really, really well. So I'm happy with that. Because I remember the first time I used it, I had like a terrible luck with uh, Minted. So now it's doing better than expected, which is awesome. I have made quite a bit of money on Vinted. I'm um, around, I think it's been like over like £20. Some of it's been stuffed into like side hustles and stuff. Not side hustles, I mean to my saving challenges. And some of it, I'm just still waiting for it to come into my bank account. So I think I've got £18 I'm waiting, to, waiting to come back in. But what I might do is stuff my um, capsule wardrobe. Think, not think if I'm saving Chandra that I'm not 100% sure. But we shall see whether that happens or not. I feel like I've rambled on for way too long. So let's get into counting this money to make sure it's 130 And then stuffing my challenges essentially. 20, 40, 60, 80... 90, 100, 10, 20, 30 pounds. That's 130 pounds to stuff. So I've got quite a few 10 pound notes, which is good, and a few 20 pound notes. I didn't I didn't manage to get any like five pound notes because cash point really only does 20 pounds and 10 pounds. So the first one I want to do is the house um saving challenge. So this is the 10 pound saving challenge. So we're going to stuff £50 in here. That's £10. 
20, 30. I don't really colour these in like, um, what do you call it, properly. It doesn't really bother me either way. That's £40.50. I decided to colour this here on on recording because last time I was going through it and I ended up um, circling another £30 um, in. Circled another three dots in, which I wasn't planning to do, but I did. So yeah. You know what? I was, I was like um, to myself the other day, I'm not going to count how much money there is, but I think I'm going to count it today because I want to see how I'm doing on with this challenge. So I'm going to put two £20 notes, that's £40, and one £10 note, that's £50. So if I move this here. I like having them in order, so £50 goes towards the back, and then £20 in the middle, and then £10. So let's count this and see how we're doing. So we've got... 100, got 20, I don't know why I got 20 there. And we've got 200. Ooh, let me sort this out. Let's start again. 50, 100, 50, 200. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. 420, 440, 460, 470, 480, 490. That's actually quite decent. Not too bad. So I've got 490 pounds in here. I feel like I should put another like um, 10 pound notes in just to make it um what do you call it equal to 500 pounds, but I think that's fine. I'm hoping by the end of the year I can roughly save 1,190 pounds. But what I might do is put another 10 pound extra in, so it's 1,200 pounds. Just to boost my house savings, essentially. I normally don't keep a large amount of my, my cash at home, but it's fine for the time being because I really want to have it a thousand, one thousand two hundred pounds in here, and then I can unstuff it with you guys. But you don't worry, there's always someone at home, and money is kept secure, <laughs> essentially. So we've got quite a few challenges to do. I was planning to start the sweet saving challenge, but I'm not going to start this until I've completed one of the challenges. Otherwise, if I have too many too many saving challenges on the go, it means that I can't complete the challenges um, quick enough. But the, this one is like a fairly small one, so it's not hard to get it down, essentially. And I've got so many more challenges that I would love to start, but I'm not going to start yet. And also, my... Um, all my envelopes came, all my saving challenges are finally all come together and I will be creating my mini binder. I don't know when I'm going to be starting that mini binder because obviously cash is a bit tight at the moment in terms of my expensive house savings investments, la di la di la and um, so I don't know when I'll be starting that but I might do it here and there but obviously if I don't have too much money from side hustles it's very hard to stuff that mini binder challenge. But um, it's fine, I'll see what, oops, just hit my camera, I'll see what I can do essentially and what my plan and sort of thoughts are when I walk you guys through it essentially. But I do need to create create like a short, so like a reel so I can show you everything I recently bought all together. So rainy day challenge is going to get £40 because I kind of want to get this um, over and done with now. And this rainy day challenge, it will be funding... Um, the it's a cart sinking fund because that is my priority as well at the moment so i'm gonna tick off 15 another 15 which is 30 pounds and these two five pound notes so these are 30 35 40 pounds and that leaves me with 30 pounds next month to stuff so in october this challenge will be done fingers crossed so putting 40 pounds so i might do 20 30 40 one twenty pound notes and two ten pound notes, and this is actually building um quite nicely. I won't count this because next month it should be finished, and then I'll count it then. Oops. And I don't know whether I'll do this challenge again. I think once I finish this challenge, what I plan to do is the sweet saving challenge. And the sweet saving challenge, I'll probably use some of the money for like um. Like £100 that can go towards the cut sinking fund and some of the like the £80 or £50 
will go with like little treat yourself money essentially. Well, that's the plan anyway. I think here I'm planning to put for emergency fund £30. Here, £30. So my tick off £120 and £10. Now, at the moment, I do add like if I have leftover change um, for my side hustles. Um, I usually put that into my emergency fund as well on my Monzo account. It just works easier that way, essentially. That's £30. And again, I don't want to really count this until um, I'm done with it, essentially. So I'm just going to swap the £10 notes out for £20. Because so that this isn't bulking up too much. So I'm going to take this out. Because what I'll do is when I put this in my sink, in my Zagart sinking fund, I'll probably put it in my bank account just to um, have less money at home, essentially. Because I feel like having too much money kind of stresses me out as well. Even though I know people at home every single day, well, I am practically five day, seven days a week. Um, I work home for a whole week, essentially, for one week. And I go in once every two weeks to the office now. But even again, someone's always home. And we're going to do the save 200 challenge. And I put £10 in here. So where are you? I'm going to just tick off another £10. So this one is a bit of a... It's, it's kind of slow at the moment because I don't have um, quite a bit of money to treat here. But it's fine. It's not end of the world. But it should slowly build up as well. But I do love the colours. Oh, I've got a black mark on me. Not a black mark, a blue mark <laughs> on my hands. I always get some sort of marks. Um, so, yeah. Let's put you back in. And then that's it. I don't have anything else left. I think in the capture wardrobe, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change this to £20. So that'd be 20, 40, 60, 81, 100, 200, 300, 400 pounds. So this will save about 400, which isn't a lot of money, but, um, well it is better than it isn't for me. <laughs> but I think this is, should be a bit more doable, but I'm gonna try and get these challenges done as well, quite quickly. I still have my birthday challenge, which I really, really want to uh, fill this up as well. And then I also got this birthday one, which I think I might wait until starting. I'll have to see whether I can fund, fund this. I think once my sinking funds are out of the way, then I can really put more money towards my um, saving challenges. But at the moment, um, sinking funds, I just have to be a priority because those are the key um, things at the moment. And then I also want to like do my perfume one, the beauty one as well. They're five pounds, so I can easily fill these up. I think once I get the house one out of the way, I can definitely put more towards all the other challenges, and that way it would work better as well. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, um, leave a comment below. Let me know how you are getting on with your saving challenges, and I hope see you guys next week for my close out video and October's budget. Can't believe October's next week. I always say that but yeah until next time guys thank you for watching bye bye